Live from Pittsburgh, Kansas, it's Techno Kung Fu episode number eight with Bobby Brooks and Shamal Chandra. And hi, Bobby. How are you, sir? So this is uh, our weekly to monthly podcast. It's, it's It's been a while since we've talked. What's new? Do you have any cool yeah. questions to ask, uh, Bobby? Uh, well, I've been, I've been a bit busy lately. It's been a bit busy. Uh, you know, work, work, work kept me up. Sorry about that to all the pod listeners. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I, I do have a couple questions. Uh, what do you think about this thing going on in Hawaii? Crazy. Could you tell me more details? The the earthquake, news, brother. The earthquake. Oh, I, earthquake? I'm not. I'm, earthquake. No, no, no. Full blown lava flow. Oh, okay. okay. Houses are getting destroyed. You okay. Insane, man. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I I've not been following it, Bobby. So. Um, it's on the Big Island. Big Island. Oh, Hawaii. Yeah. Let me let me look it up. And literally, people's houses just get destroyed, and and basically, everybody's going, well, yep, that's what it is. Like, they literally have no answers. They, there's the last time they tried to stop a lava flow was in Iceland, and they dumped over, I think it was like a billion tons of water on it. And why don't they, why don't they get to the so, source? Why don't they get to the source of it and like shut that down? Well, you can't. It's a it's a lava flow. Okay. They can't get it's to the core center. core of the earth and kind of shut down or um, understand yeah, more we, how this. We, we haven't even <laughs> we haven't made it that far ever. Yeah, it's a good movie though. Yeah, but think about what fracking has done, and that's not that's not nearly as far. Yeah, and we screwed things up. Like we're we're not capable of, of that kind of technology. Right, right, right. Throwing water at it is a better option, except as it turns out, we learned in Iceland that's a horrible option because that's what they did in Iceland. And in Iceland, they threw water on the lava, which did cool it. Okay. Absolutely, and stopped it. Problem is that. Where the smoke, the fire, or where the fire, the smoke, right? Yeah. They they created a plume that covered like twenty percent of the world. Okay. To a greater or lesser degree. Okay. Just ash. Okay. And. So this time they're like, yeah, we shouldn't do that. Like, the last time we tried that, it ended poorly. Yeah. Especially cool. over Hawaii, because, like, those people can't go anywhere. So, like, if you do that to them, it's not like they can run away. Like, run yeah. away to where? Right. Horrible. Right. I feel absolutely horrible for them. But at the same time, there is the comedic part of me that goes, well, you did park your butt on an island that has a volcano that is active, and you know it, and that's what you want to say. Right. Like, that that was your choice. Right. I live in the Midwest, and honestly, I want to move. Just, right, because now they have the fracking, things. fracking in, in in Oklahoma that kind of causes five point five to five point nine Richter yeah. scale earthquakes well, and in, there, and in then Kansas. Yeah, tornadoes and everything else. Like I got, I should just move. And to, last night there was hail, hail. So hail or sleet or whatever. I don't know. Hail, yeah, hail, hail, yeah. Big hail. But, Hitting my my window seal. It's just it's just like silliness. Like 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 you you, you 
do, do, do they have some uh, do they have some way of modeling these uh, earthquake uh, not earthquakes but these uh, volcanoes they can predict no when they'll strike it's totally nonlinear they they um so totally there is a um, geolog there is a random. geologic society that 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 absolutely does um it it monitors the seismology right but the the problem is is that what 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 they can tell you is that this might move. That's all they can tell you. Okay. They can't tell you when. It's not. It's they not like. Tell you. It's not like. It's not like Twister, where they had uh, Ellen Hunt and that other dude who died recently. They. Yeah, they no, no. Those, that, those that'd be great. That'd be great. That'd be great. But that that actually doesn't exist. That that technology does not exist. Yeah, I mean those sensors they put in the hair to study the the tornado, so they can understand yeah, the it dynamics. Doesn't. That's, that doesn't that exist. That's science fiction. Yeah, science fiction. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's the they'll, same have to thing create, with, uh, they'll have to create material that can withstand the heat of the, the volcano, the lava. But that, be, I mean, however, that being said, as I, as those words come out of my mouth, uh, some like well, we we've seen that before, right? Like uh, people, like there are things that never existed that we all thought that that's science fiction that will never happen that ended up being a part of our life or something like deep so, impact or or uh armageddon or something so like it, uh, well even to the extent of an iphone or an iwatch that was a star trek thing in the 80s and everybody was like, there is no way that will ever happen. Meanwhile, right now, if I had an iWatch, I could call you right now on my iWatch and talk to you through my wrist. Imagine that 30 years ago. It would never happen. Yeah. Like it, the 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 the, the in, mm-hmm. um, it's what one of the things that Elon Musk talks about a lot is that our progression is going so fast that it's almost overtaking us. Like I, I think I think the thing is, is that it? people have these expectations that they want to have. We're, they expect revolution, yeah, the, the revolutions in one year or two years or three years to happen for each product line, and that does not transpire. Right, like, that's why there's a new iPhone every year. There, there should not be a new iPhone every year. That technology is 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 very complicated. Very very complicated. There should not be a new one every year. There's no need for it, other than consumerism. That's it. So if you, you look at a couple if, of if you, new glitches, and now it can do a new couple things. If you look at Alexis the Alexis scares the yeah. shit out of me. Alexis, I, it will not ever be in my house. Right, right, right. A, a thing that can just listen to me. Like, are you kidding me? Right, right, right. We've already seen how that turned out bad. Uh, that one dude in the government. But if you look at but if you look at but if you look at the MP3 MP3 caused the whole MP3 revolution, us having so many uh, media files on one um, media player like uh, the the one from Creative Rio that started it all, and then they had the one from iRiver that was like two fifty six megabytes of main memory, and then it went well, to the M- other M- products. M- MP3 was a better mouse trap. I, I'm not going to fault MP3. It was just a better mousetrap. But what it was, was I can make your music sound that good and not take up that much space. So the wave file is huge. Uh, right. W-A-V. Right. Uh, but uh, an MP3 file is like not even a sixteenth of that. So 
they literally built a better mousetrap. I'm not going to. Yeah, but I think I think I think I, I think you would like uh, those dudes. Those dudes. Those dudes were literally building a better mousetrap. That's what they did. Right, right. And 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 for the betterment of everybody, by the way, because that's the that's the standard. Right, right, right. We have the, these the, weird things now, like MKV, which is like some Russian right. thing, and, and all of that. But MP3 is still standard. Right, right. Um, like FLAC, the lossless format that they have now, where they get HD tracks or that are that are that are that you can buy and and, and separately on the HD tracks or some other website, you know very high fidelity where you can use a title website uh, to get very high, like master quality tracks, you know, that yeah, but, is... here, but here's the problem. And I've actually talked to people in industry. Okay. Here's the problem. Okay. You get the absolute best quality possible, right? Right. Okay. What are you listening to it through? Listen through some phone or some some uh, stereo system, or through the a- Xbox or something. Are you listening? Are you listening through a sound system? That no, a high no. fidelity. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing it through a. Uh... Are, are, did Did you spend three thousand dollars to get? a high fidelity sound system in your living room? Right, right, right. Then there is no reason to buy that. Because yes, it is built for that quality. You will never hear it at that right. quality. Right, because right. you don't you don't have the equipment that can produce that quality. It, it right, like, right. They're giving you what they promise, but uh, you have crappy equipment. Like if I put it through the the freaking speakers on my computer, it's not it 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 will sound no different. Yeah. No different. Because my computer speakers are not capable. It's 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 a it's a it's a functional issue of yeah this technology like uh, you like. Uh, if I was uh, Rihanna and right. I had that kind of money and right. I had a high fidelity sound system, yes, I will absolutely buy that. However, if I am me where I am in Pittsburgh, Kansas, um, there is no reason for me to buy that because my speakers cannot perform to that level. But you, but so, but once you make that once you make that um, investment, you should not have to do the George Lucasen type of deal where he keeps on getting higher and higher resolution. Like he he has the Star Wars in 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 uh, medium VHS. Oh no no! First he has it on on uh, laser disc. Then he has it on VHS. Then he has it in super VHS. Then he has it on Blu-ray. Then he has it on four four K. Uh, UHD, and then eventually he's going to have it on 8K, you know? Every time you have to spend that, you know, more money to get the same thing. And why don't you just get well, the, the the best thing best thing for yourself the first time? Well, and it's all about the experience anyway. Yeah. Right? It, like, it, it's not about the noise. Right. I mean, like, Sam Kennison is one of my favorite comedians. Right. Him, him yelling sounds right. no different on right. these speakers or high def or like, and right. and some of my favorite artists like even a perfect circle like yeah, I'd like uh, you know I'm trying to think of uh, just a song that pops in my head. A Fear of a Dead Man. Yeah. Right. 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 If right. that song comes on the radio in my crappy car speakers, I'm not going to be any less impressed with it. And that's because right. he's a great artist and he has a great song. It, right, it, right. The, 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 
the speakers do not matter. It, 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 the, the system doesn't matter. It's just that he has a great lyric, great content. Like, I'm listening. He, he's caught my attention. Right, it, right, it, right. It, right. I've listened. I, I, I spent a lot of time driving uh, once upon a time in my life. And right. I used to listen to AM radio and kind of enjoyed it a little bit because it breaks the monotony. I mean, like, you can only hear, you know, whatever band is popular at the time play that song 15 freaking times before you're like, I'm over it. However, turn to AM radio, there's some dude talking about the news. And I don't particularly care, but that's different. It's not the same song every third song. Like, yeah. I think is what a lot. It hurts the music industry when they do that. It like just play the song, let everybody love it, and then just leave it alone for a minute. Right, right, right. If you play, if you play it every third song, and then everybody goes, "Yep, yeah, I got that. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, okay, you gonna beat me over the head with it one more time? Okay, all right." Well, right. no, I don't like but 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 do you like the do you like the pay every month subscription plan like Spotify, or do you like do you like paying for each uh, flack or MP3 or wave CD? What is what do you think is the best in your opinion? For the amount of money you pay, oh. I mean, if you want to, if you if oh. you're like if you're like hearing the radio and you Shazam something. And then and then you play you want to play it you know a billion times before you get sick of it because you like it so much. Wouldn't you like to use something like a subscription model where you pay monthly fees, you know, and you can eventually I'm, download I'm it for offline use? I'm a hacker at heart. And you're a hacker. That's cool. So I always look through the. Byways and highways. Byways and highways. Um, I would say, honestly, um, for your money, now here's the thing. You have to be very careful about it because just as I'm a hacker, Amazon is willing to take your money. If you just sign up for Amazon Music, it's like four bucks. Yeah. Five, I don't remember what the exact cost is. Uh-huh. However, a month. And you literally have access to basically any song you can ever think of. Okay. Literally. There is nothing off limits. However, they don't tell you that when you sign up. Oh, yeah. So if you sign up and screw up and sign up for Amazon Prime, you're on the hook for $150 for a year. Yeah. And they will charge you that. If you're smart, you okay. sign up for Amazon Music. You don't need the Amazon Prime. You don't need all of that. Like, I mean, if, if you want the two-day shipping and you want all that, that's fine. But right. Okay. Realistically, if it's just about music, uh-huh. they're probably one of the best services because mm-hmm. it's like five bucks a month. You create your playlist. You can even offline your playlist, which is awesome of them. Uh-huh. And I did learn this the hard way. Uh, once your subscription gets canceled, you can't listen to that anymore. Well, just uh-huh. fine. Like, I stopped paying. I guess I don't get to listen to that. However, okay. like, it, it, it's great. It's, it, it, it's a great service. They, they, they have a uh-huh. very good model. They have a very good business model. Do you, do you, do you, um, have you tried Deezer? Deezer? Do what? Deezer? It's it's like a European-based uh, uh, subscription stream streaming 
music streaming uh, company. It gives you like uh, $10 or something, somewhere around that per month. No, never heard of it. Okay. But, but I, I mean, I mean, anyways, any other questions you have besides well, I'm, the... I'm uh, interested. What is it? What is it? What is, oh, what is these? What are, is it's just, it just it just has the lyrics and it has this music at a high fidelity. So, lyrics synchronized with you, it, like, you play you you can play it on your phone, you can play it on your computer, you can play it on your Xbox. Now they just recently in, in, in introduced the app for the Xbox. Can you play it offline? Yeah, uh, no, not yet. They don't have that yet. They have wow. that in Spotify. They have that in, um, I don't know if they have that in Tidal, but they have that in Spotify. They have that on, uh, you know, other 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 ones, other subscription schemes. Yeah, but the problem with Spotify though is that they 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 say you can play it offline, but you have to have an internet connection, so it really doesn't work. Does that make sense? Right, because they have to verify. They don't want you to take it offline, you know. Right. Completely. And then Amazon doesn't do that. So oh, wait, I didn't like, know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. I can be out in the woods somewhere and get my Amazon playlist, and it'll play. Right. If you try that with Spotify, it won't work because you don't have a signal. And and they're they're going to do that with the uh, Hulu. And they're gonna do that with uh, they already did that with Netflix, but I, I and so you can yeah yeah so a lot of these video streaming allow you to do the offline download. Yeah, um, Amazon already did it. They they actually I actually used that today. Uh, yeah, you can download movies. YouTube also does that. Allows you to, with YouTube Red. I don't I don't like YouTube Red. There's nothing good on there. I like. I wish there was, but there's absolutely nothing good on it. Oh, but by as a matter of fact, I wanted to just talk about that series, Cobra Kai, that I saw all the episodes. Oh of my one. God, Cobra Kai, man, that is what stellar. You should you should watch it. It is one hell of. A I, series. I I you know what I I've heard I've look look, you know who Joe Rogan is. No no oh Joe Rogan that 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 uh podcaster yeah. Yeah, he's not just a podcaster. He, he's many things, yeah. He's a multi-talented person. He announces for the UFC, and he's a purple belt, in, uh, 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 well, probably a black belt at this point in jiu-jitsu. He was a purple belt, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, Jesus Christ. I seriously watch that show, and I'm like, the first one I watched, I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. Because anybody who has anything to do with karate goes, well, that's not right. Oh, that's not right. Oh, that's not right. It, 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 but you should, you should enjoy it. Of... You should just enjoy it. You know, it's like it's like watching ER or something. Or watching... Uh, um watching uh some other uh, uh, some other uh, uh flick where the, where it's like computer yeah, science related the the problem they have is that now we're an educated society and so like there are people like me who go well that's not right well that's not right well that's not right well this is complete horseshit it's okay it's okay just take it take it with it's like it's like there's a there's a movie with uh, 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 I think there's this some um, uh, uh, actress and this actor, and it's it's very very. Uh, they talk about this operating system that can handle any type of uh, application, whether it's Linux or Windows or Macintosh. And then and then and then you're like you're like this is not possible. They don't have such an operating system which can handle all the operating all the applications natively, like right. Wine or something. That's that, that's the not guy, the guy, yeah it's, yeah. It's, and, and then and then it's like conceivable. Yeah, it's it's kind of like Firewall with uh, Harrison Ford. Where he has like he's able to unlock into the break through the firewall and access all the money and 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 wiretap wire it to some some other place and right, like, there's, there's some Ford anybody who and, has any knowledge of this at all is gonna go 
you can't do that. Or it's like Italian Basically. job where they where they hack the the lights and and they drive those uh, uh, minis and do all those stunts yeah, and it's like, it's like transporter even that. transporter it's... yeah even transporter you know how can he like drive and like jump up out of his car and and hit that and you know take it get out of the car and like do some you know kung fu fighting you know all of a sudden you know it's just not possible I mean, but that, that's Hollywood this, this, man this, and this is techno kung fu like we watch things like that and i'm like there is absolutely no way that that was that easy yeah. it's like when you break into a bank vault i'm like it okay first off that would take me a week of planning i'd have to get to know people inside i'd have to like because like, you're gonna have to wire yourself in like i like there's there's so much going on that like you can't just act like like oh well give me a day I got it like no you don't no you don't you absolutely do not you, you fail as soon as you walk through the door yeah there's no way you're just gonna walk in and break open this bank vault like no but 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 they're, I, they're way well, too complicated well it's like Dog Day Afternoon with Al Pacino. If you remember that movie where he just gets he, he caught ah, but, 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 but you yeah, but you got you got to give a little liberty there. That was older. That older. was older. Yeah. Like 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 the technology wasn't what it is now. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, so so thing. I mean, it just depends on their their technical assistance or technical advisors that they 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 they, they uh, hire. For instance, Marvin Minsky was hired, who's one of the fathers of AI, one of the fathers of neural networks. He was hired for Stanley Kubrick's 2001 Space Odyssey in 1969. That film is going to celebrate its, I think, 50th anniversary. Yeah, 50th anniversary. They had they had the main actor protagonist on CNBC recently. And uh, he was talking about how that film has, you know, gone past its era and has transcended, you know, Kubrick has just did marvels, you know, because he's able to keep the film uh, pertinent even to this day. I mean, the technology was still oh. raw, you know, but it's still um, the the way he was able to do it. So it looks still like, you know, kind of like a Christian, Christian, Christopher Nolan film where he doesn't tell everything, but you have to like read between the lines. But at the same time, he has the, the, the effects, the graphics effects were not that too, too, you know, fake. They were they were done in such a way artistically well with with camera tricks and all that all sorts of things, and and all the howl and all that st- cool stuff. You know, it was just so futuristic. Mm-hmm. I mean, this interpretation of Arthur C. Clarke's book novel was pretty 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 cool you, because you, yeah, you you literally just made me laugh because the same thing happened with uh, was it the second Back to the Future? Oh, the the 2010, the second movie where that they made, the, where the jock was wearing the spiky helmet, and I was like, "This is how we should be dressing now." Like spiky helmet, and all have you have that. you seen and have like, you seen the original Karate Kid? That was ridiculous. Actually, the, the original Karate Kid, I still holds up to me. It still holds up to me. I. I Partially because I come from a person of martial arts, so I, okay. like, I know everybody makes fun of the waxed off, waxed off thing, but there's actually a purpose behind that. Right, um, right. It's like, it's, it has to do with, the, um, you know, breathing in, uh, breathing in, and no, then holding no, it, and then breathing no, out. I, kind no, of, no, it's, no, it's actually, stay in the it's present. a technique. Yeah. No, it's a technique. It, it's literally... Um, if someone tries to hit you, you wax off. Right, right. Or wax but but that, that's my interpretation of it. That's my interpretation. It, it could be wrong, yeah, according to your definition. So I mean, but like, like basically, what it is is literally deflecting yeah. blows, yeah. and he's trying to teach him that in a fundamental way. 
And yeah, well, I, I really, I really enjoyed Cobra Kai. I enjoyed Cobra Kai because you know it, it was just something totally different and than than typical things that I've seen on TV. Uh, as what, of late, what it, honestly, what it, what it, what it came out to me as was, man, you guys are broke, aren't you? I, I get it. You're broke. You're broke. And yeah, and you know what? I I don't blame you. Like, uh, but like, try to hold on to something. Like, but they didn't. Okay. They 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 just gave it up. They were like, nope, we're gonna be as commercial as we can. I'm like, oh man, dude, I wish you would hold it. Hold on. To something. But if, if you look at sports movies, sports movies, what are your top five sports films of all time? Like Raging Bull must be up there. Uh, you know the uh, all uh, Mighty Ducks, uh, Little Giants, Bad News Bears. What? what? You don't like those? Who are you at? Or uh, Raging Bull. Raging Bull is the best. Cinderella Man. Cinderella Man. Cinderella Man. I've not seen that one. Yeah. Last Samurai. And then Rocky, Rocky one, two, five. Oh yeah, yeah. Any of the well, until you get to like, well, the last one was a piece of garbage. But yeah. And then uh, um, that one with the Cinderella man, Rock'em Sock'em Cinderella robots, man raging bull. Rock'em, Rock'em Sock'em robots. You know where they have the robots that they, that hit punches on each other. Forgot that. Yeah, but that's just a game for kids. Okay. That's not actually a movie, is it? Or 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 the movie about um. I mean, I love the damn thing, but it's not actually a movie, is it? Or maybe, oh no, no, you're talking about that movie with uh. Oh, the dude who played Wolverine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I forgot his name. Real yeah. Steel, Real Steel, Real Steel. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I never actually saw but, but that. Have, I, I, have they have they had movies about MMA or or UFC? They've had they've had one that was good. Okay. And I really hate to say this because like like the John Claude Van Damme, John Claude Van Damme. Oh no, no no no! I'm I'm a huge fan of him. Okay. People talk shit on him all the time. It's ridiculous. We'll get into that in a second. But no, uh, the movie that I love was called Fighting. That was the name of the movie, okay. and it it starred uh, Channing Tatum. Yeah. And oh. obviously, he's a pretty boy. Right. 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 However, they, when you watch that movie play out, that is literally that that's how a fighter's life looks. Right, right, really. right. Like he starts off on the street, just like flinging stuff, and they're like, mm. and he gets into a fight with a couple dudes. Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty good at that. Or 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 uh, Power Power Rangers. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, where they morph into uh, ninjas, then then they then they morph into Megatron. Oh, well, that's, that's just ridiculous. That's just that's awesome. Yeah, that's... Ninja Ninja Turtles or uh, Matrix, 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 Matrix Matrix scene, it's kicking and fighting and doing all those wonderful things, you know. Or you know, there's there's so um, many there's so many out there. Anyways, I'll, I'll, anyways, I had some questions for you. All some right. Questions for you. Um, so, what do you think about? I was trying this um, application called uh, uh, Fruity Loops that you were recommending on an earlier conversation we had. Uh, yeah. One for Macintosh. So, well, so, so I mean, I, I was looking at I was looking at all these big big time music people and they had like thousand tracks for one one song 
do you know how they individually go through like putting in their head these 1000 tracks together so it sounds just right do they actually study each individual instrument or do they have some something that helps them throughout you know no when you work with free loop you have to work in your own space right 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 you literally go, what do I want this to sound like? Right, right. And uh, the best this, this, example of that, that okay. I can give is Trent Reznor. Trent Reznor literally went out to a railroad track, took a recorder, and recorded the sound of a train going by. And then mix it in with his track, right? Because you cannot replicate that. Right. There is no there is no possible way you could replicate that. Right, right, right. But he didn't do it just to be a dick. That was the sound he needed. He was like, I need that steel grinding. Right, right. So it it it's literally an artist touch where you have to go, what sounds do I need? Like you're okay. you're listening to all of these things. No, no, no. Stop. Stop listening to all that. What you need to do is think, what sounds do I need? Yeah. And then figure out how to find that. Don't don't go looking for things that other people have done. Yeah. I mean that's like steal, that's like stealing another comic joke. Like don't do that. Just, no, but I, I'm I'm talking about I'm talking about like uh, orchestras and symphonies. What what is behind that? Like Mo, Mozart, for instance. Mozart was able to imagine a whole symphony and then write down the the music uh, for each individual. Um, instrument and then compose and okay, mix it I'm, I'm gonna sound really narcissistic right now but i've actually done this um because obviously i do not have an orchestra um i would in in the very beginning i would create a drum track okay create a beat and then I would play my guitar rhythm over the beat. That was literally me playing the guitar. Right. And then I would literally play the bass. Okay. I would play all of those instruments. Okay. And then after that, I would add in other things. Okay. Like orchestrative or instrumental. Right. Or whatever. Right, right, right. And and I use the piano. Okay. And but you 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 you've gone through a lot many years of of uh, using these individual components and like thinking through that thinking uh, you know learning all these instruments right. Spend many years right. Well, it, what it what it comes down to is it's basically I was the band. Okay. Like you, you had you had all the instruments. Thing. You had all the instruments and you had all the MIDI connections to your computer. Or you or you, and you were able to do that. I'm I'm just trying to do it with, with the software instruments. And I'm trying to create that same feeling like a kind of like a Kyogo or or not Kyo, Kyogo or or uh you know Roosevelt or a uh or Zed, that those type of that type of flair. This is going to get really technical for the listener, but they're not like it. I don't know. Uh, what you need to do is you need to get a keyboard, a full-size keyboard. Don't get one of those small ones. You're wasting your time. Get a full-size keyboard. Right. Get a MIDI keyboard. And then do what I did. And this is ghetto as hell, but I put masking tape okay. on certain keys and lay 
table. Right, right, right. So I could literally play keys and then hit a drop. Like, so, like, if I wanted a drum beat to drop, I could hit that key and the drum beat would drop. But I could still be playing keys with my right hand. But 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 learning learning right. how the how the drums go along with the percussion goes along with the the, the main line or the secondary line or the third line uh, track, you know how it kind of creates that feel, that imaginary world in your head that makes you kind of want to dance or jump and you know because I've seen well, a lot of my friends. Tra- what what you what you end up turning into is you turn you end up turning into Beethoven. Okay. I mean, for lack of a better word, you, you're orchestrating it. And that's how you have to think about it. I'm not playing it. I'm orchestrating it. Yeah. Yes, I might have to do a couple things, but mostly I'm orchestrating it. I'm making sure this happens when this happens, when this happens, when this happens. And it is very fulfilling. I've done it live. Um, that's why guys like Moby, like everybody gives Moby crap, and live DJs they give them all crap because they think that that's easy. It's not easy because what you have to do is you have to move with the crowd. These people are moving because you're moving. Okay. Okay, okay, I lose that for just a second, you're gone. You're gone. It's over. Okay. So you have to keep them moving. Right, right. You can you can do you can do uh um you know four you know you can do a, a f- you can you can do all sorts of interesting techniques to make it interesting. It's classical music techniques, or you can use some uh, digital signal processing tools like synthesizers and and uh, other types of um, tools to make it more uh, you know sound like a machine uh, or you know put filters or sequencers or so, something like that to make it more interesting uh, because they spend a lot I, I I've gone to these uh, like uh, I was trying out this uh, Dead Moss uh, master class and. The guy was just like just plugging away on the note roll, a bunch of notes. Uh, he and and he was just plugging in uh, to this synthesizer to that that synthesizer, connecting those two, and then it's like he he had, it's like he had some natural uh, um, natural uh, training that he had gone through to understand each of these well, how these, each other works. He was not doing it because there's such a large parameter sweep space. For such a thing. Here, here's, here's the strange difference between like literally five years. Not kidding. Literally five years. Yeah. I went through electronics engineering school. Yeah. I know what a waveform is. Okay. Like I, I, I know like when I see it on screen. Right, 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 right. Dudes now who look at that on the computer have no earthly idea what that actually means. Right. They they don't know what the mechanics behind that are. Oh no, but 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 did you did you did you take any music classes? Did you take any music classes or just electrical? Because electrical engineering classes. Teach you digital signal processing. I I played guitar when I was twelve years old. Okay. I learned piano when I was sixteen. I like I learned music theory when I was fifteen. Okay. Like that's that's the that's the reason that I I'm like very trepidatious to I I don't want to harp on these people. Because it's trying to create art, but at the same time, I do understand why people are mad because they don't know what they're doing. Like, yeah, they literally don't.
don't know what they're doing. Like, I, it, if I said, okay, here's all the things that can make that music, make it. And just put it out in front of them. Yeah. There is no way that, they would, that would ever happen. Right, right, right. The only reason that happens is because somebody has done the technology and made it work. Right, right. No, I, I mean, I mean, there's this probably like it's like it's like a black so art. Basically, black I, art. I, I thought, okay. So basically, I'm like an OG, I guess. Like I'm OG. Yeah. Call this episode OG. Basically, yeah. I'm an OG. I'm like before. Uh. EDM and all that came to be a huge thing. Like, I was doing that. I, I Well, not to that extent. Actually, what I was doing was I didn't have a band at the time, so I was I had a four-track recorder. You know what a four-track is? Yeah. Do you really? What's a four-track? Yeah. It's like an eight-track, eight-track type of before eight track, they had a four track recorder. I mean, it just it's just like they have those 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 buttons you can press on the on the floor with the buttons, and it it records up to four tracks. You can press on a pedal. My friend has no. it. He's a musician. You can it just repeat no, the you, same you, four tracks. It, it's like before they had you, no, before they had no, um, nonlinear no, 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 um, no, audio no, audio no, recording no. software recording. It's all hard. It's, what you do is you take it. A cassette tape. Okay. And because you know, if you flip, uh, uh, if you remember, if you flip a cassette tape over, you have to be able to side, right? Okay. Right. Like. Yeah. There'd be Aerosmith side A, Aerosmith side B. Yeah. Well, if you stick in a four track recorder, it just records on or all four tracks. Okay. And then you can actually dub them down okay. to be in the same track with this machine. Isn't it amazing? Right? That sounds stupid right now, but at the time, it was fucking amazing. And I still own the thing, and I won't get rid of it. And my wife is like, why won't you get rid of it? And I'm like, okay, look, this is how the Beatles recorded their album with a fourth track. Seriously. That's not a lie. You can look it up. Yeah, for, yeah. Like, you can look it up. It, 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 it's amazing. And and it is an amazing piece of technology from from that time period. And it does have a distinct... I, I am not one of those guys who goes like, well, I don't really listen to things on records. Or, like, no, no, whatever. You're an asshole. Um... It's fine. Yeah. However, there is a very distinctive sound when you record on a four track, only because there's dust. It's weird. That dust creates a certain type of sound. Not horrible, not bad. Yeah. But noticeable. And if you took that out of it, it wouldn't be the same song. Okay. Like there's a lot of it. it there's a lot of things like that. We, when you take the nuance out, it like um, Janis Joplin is the perfect example. Yeah. Cry Baby. Is it right that song? Uh, I've not heard that much Janis Joplin. She's not on my list of uh, musicians that I follow. I follow many musicians, but not Janis Joplin. I've just heard that, oh, oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes-Benz song from that commercial, Mercedes-Benz commercial. Baby. Listen to Baby by Janis Joplin. Cry Baby? Well, it, I think it's just called Baby. Might okay. 
crybaby, but baby, okay. listen to it from Woodstock okay. and listen to it, listen to it when it's recorded. Okay. And and I think that's the thing we miss today is that musicians do not sound like what they sound like. Right, right. Because it, 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 with her, it was the exact opposite. Right. When you hear her in Woodstock sing that song, you go, right. it, 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 it will capture your mind. You, you, you will stop. The recorded version is like, that's a good song. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, that, that's, that, that's, that's, that's true with all these live live. But tracks. it's the opposite now. It's the opposite now because now when you hear somebody live, they're like, well, that sucks. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like Katy Perry when initially when she was singing, she was kind of off pitch. And my friend right. used to tell me all the time that she's kind of off pitch, out of tune. But now she's just fine. She's just, she, she nailed it down. But that, that practice made it perfect, you know. Or she has an auto tune, auto tune, auto tune, auto tune, real time auto tune. Have you heard of Soundforge? Have you heard of Soundforge? What is Soundforge? Soundforge is a very great program uh, put out by Sonic Foundry, and I guarantee you, I can make you sound like Britney Spears. Yeah, they have, they have, they have tools. Oh, the one by Sony. Okay. And it can, no, it can, no. Well, the SoundForge. It's not by Sony. It's by Sonic. Sonic Foundry. Sonic Foundry, okay. Yeah, I, I, I can make you sound like Britney Spears if I want to. Okay. I can auto-tune you to death. I can Millie Vanilla you if I want to. Yeah. That's cool. They, and, and, and it's not it's not that it's bad technology because like I I I'm playing the devil's advocate. It, it's not the it's not bad technology. Like well, they sold it to Sony, it's, Sony, Sony. Yeah, for eighteen million dollars. Well, well, and sometimes shit happens. Like crap happens in the background. Like there might be a guy yells out something. And you don't need that. Yeah. Well, you can literally go, what audible is he? And you can just X me that. Okay. And then when you replay it, it's like it didn't exist. Right. It's kind of like it's kind of like uh, Kanye West. He does auto tune, and then it sounds like totally yeah. unlike him. I mean, you can do that a to a limited degree them. with these simple nonlinear um, uh, audio editors, but it's not to that effect as these specialized tools like in you know, audio editing, post production, that allow you to like, do all this. My thing is, it's like, why would you do that to yourself as an artist? Like, you're kind of pigeonholing yourself because. If you are that good, yeah, then you should be that good, right? Mm. Or not. I mean, maybe you're not. Okay. Um, uh, there's a couple bands that don't do it at all on purpose, and they're like, well, this is who we are. Okay. However, they also always sound the same, and that's the same. Like, their consistency is awesome. Awesome, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, five Finger Death Punch. Okay. You ever heard of them? Five Finger Death you ever, Punch. Okay. You ever heard of them? Five Finger. No, no, I've not heard of them. This is good. You're, you're telling me new stuff. Good, 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 yeah. good. No, they, they have an awesome song that talks about veterans. Okay. And they're like, I spoke to God today. He looked a lot like me. Like, he has a, it it will make you cry, that song, and the video. However, here's the thing. He's played that live. 
in front of literally crowds okay. overseas, and it sounds I've I've heard it. It sounds just like that. There is no auto tune. That's just that dude's voice. It, it's just like it's kind of like Jason Morris. Just Jason Morris sounds as good as he does live as he does on track. Without right. any, without or any like, help, or or like uh, uh, what was her name? Oh God, bless it. Uh, Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. Yeah, yeah. She has the she has the cornrow haircut. Want it all? I don't want nothing at all. Like, that girl can walk into any place and do that. Right, right. So, so it's kind of like it's kind of like the it's kind of like the um, Pink Floyd. They used to have these high high quality production um, equipment to to create all those effects in their music. And when they went to the live concerts, they had to spend so much money to create those same effects live, and that caused a lot of problems in in terms of uh, you know making it sound as faithful to the track studio track. Well, and Alicia Keys like graduated from Juilliard. All she needs is a piano, yeah, and a microphone, yeah. She had. And and she's pretty. It, it doesn't hurt. Yeah, right, right. But like all of it just comes down to like if you auto tune your things, you start turning into this Manelli Vanilli thing. Where it's like when I go to your show, I'm just upset. You let me down. I can tell you for a fact, and I've been to a bunch of shows, uh, Godsmack, not only do they sing exactly like they sound like, uh, I don't know how they perform. Okay. Because there was fire behind them. And when I say there was fire behind them, there was seven-foot wall of fire behind them. I wasn't on stage, obviously. I was standing away from the stage. And I could feel the heat. So I was like, I'm right. worried about your safety. I'm worried about your safety right now. Like, I, 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 I like you guys. You're doing okay. a great job. Okay. How the hell are you singing? And I guarantee you, your back's on fire because I think I'm getting a suntan. Right, right, right. Like, like the the amazing performers like that, I give credit. Hey. You sound exactly like what you're supposed to sound like, and Jesus Christ, how did you possibly do that? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, like the, it's, like, it's like the it's like the dude that someone should get a fire extinguisher. Like this is not okay. It's like it's like Billy Joel. Um, he he plays the piano. He dances, he sings, he plays the harmonica all at the same time. And he can do it with the precise timing of milliseconds. It's pretty cool. Yeah, except this guy's got a fucking fire on his back. <laughs> or or the guy who 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 throws uh throws uh, uh fire fire torches, fire fired torches while he's doing dance dance revolution simultaneously. Or the guy who who is like on fire and he and he's singing songs, you know. My so. favorite one ever. My favorite one ever. So. I mean, yes, he married his sixteen-year-old cousin. Whatever. Okay. Lewis. Okay, uh, let's wrap it up, um, Bobby. I think that's good for today. Uh, until next time. Techno Kung Fu. See us on Spotify.